Chance now here for Mark Timmins, and that one a little bit overhit, but it might work out. And here's the fullback again. Oh, and Mark Timmins had a great chance there for Leach. Well, you don't get many goal chances against Johnny Gall. That was a good one for Timmins. Maybe he should have done better. So many players bunched inside the 45 meter line. That's good play though from McGlynn. Chance here. McGee going forward. Johnny Gall desperately tried to work something through. Walsh turns on his left hand side, and that one has gone over the bar and that's the first point from play it took a long time but David Walsh has it Ryan Bradley comes forward back to Neil Gallagher nicely played Declan Walsh to Michael Murphy Murphy with the effort and that's a fantastic point from the Johnny Gold captain well they need something from somewhere that captain decided to step up to the plate Johnny Ball lead by three points to one and well there's a bit of argy bargy there Rory Gallagher and Fergal Byron were having a bit of a set two it seems bit of pace shown here now from Begley, but then loses possession just as there was a shooting chance. Maybe should have had the confidence to go for a score. But lost in midfield, but the foul was committed by Begley. Quickly taken free. Now then, what can McBrearty do? Taking on his man, good pace from McBrearty. And that's a wonderful point from Paddy McBrearty. A lot of the Donegal players are expected to step up to the plate today. McBrearty doing very well. Chance here for McGlynn and Frank McGlynn loses possession. His leash again come forward but no player inside the 45 metre line for Leash. They have to do it the hard way. Need to get men up and attack. Munnelly. It was a brilliant run on this side of the pitch from Porrick McMahon. Munnelly didn't spot him, but it didn't matter because the ball has gone over the bar. But for half a second, there was probably a goal chance there. But Leash would be happy with the point. Great defensive play, though, from Donegal and a wonderful pickup from Anthony Thompson. Damon McGee doing the donkey work beforehand for Donegal. Now a long ball across the pitch towards McFadden. McFadden takes. And Colin McFadden scores his first point from play. And it was a peach. But all the hard work was done by McGee and Thompson beforehand. Last chance saloon for both sides. A big carrot in place in the All-Ireland quarter-final. Long range effort, and that one has gone over the bar, and it's Tony Kingston's second point of the match. And it was a score Leash badly needed. Kieran Lillis comes forward for Leash. They could get another score now and leave three between them. Here's Conway, and that's a beautiful point from the substitute, David Conway, and there is only three points in it. And this game isn't over yet. Rory Cavanagh been giving an awful lot of time. Gets it inside to McBrearty. Does Donegal try and work a shooting chance? It's McFadden. And the ball has gone over the bar. Well, it looked like there was nothing on, but Colin McFadden made sure there was a chance, and he took his chance. And the gap is three again. Leash need a goal, but they've lost possession. One back. As Donegal try to finish 
with a flourish here. McBrearty trying to create a shooting angle. And McBrearty has put the ball over the bar. And that's a brilliant score from the Kilcar man. And the gap is now four points. And Donegal will know they've been in a match. Neil McGee loves to get forward. The man from Guidoy. Still Neil McGee. This is a great run. And Neil McGee kicks over. A fantastic point. And now the gap is five. The job is done. Jimmy Guinness will be happy. Donegal are through to the quarterfinal. Only goal player is down, and that's Rory Cavanagh. And a red card has been given to Conor Meredith, a straight red. Marty Duffy was in very quickly, and uh, that's just frustration, really, from Conor Meredith. As they come forward, looking for more. Acres of space here. For McClure, and that ball has gone over the bar now. And in the last few minutes, everything Donegal have touched has turned to gold. And Leo McClure adds his name to the score sheet. And there it is. The final whistle has been blown here in Park Victor Mother in Carrick and Shannon. And Jim McGuinness's team are.